Hi there, welcome to another Excel video. This is for all you sports analysts out there. The tutorial today is a quick one, it's about pivot tables. So pivot tables in 2010 are a fantastic uh, tool and even though they require a little bit of a learning curve, it's worth you trying them out. So what I've got here is some uh, match performance statistics from a soccer team a female soccer team and there is about a thousand rows of data in this data set you can just have a look there yep a thousand rows and some change so uh, what we're going to do is insert a pivot table and just have a look at some of the, the simple functionality that you can get from just a few clicks so importantly when you're doing a pivot table you want to make sure that the data is in a structured format so that there are headings at the top I have put these in bold and that there is if there's any other data on the page there's an empty column next to it so this table looks good so I'm not going to do any more mucking around I'm just going to get straight into it so there are some shortcuts but I want to click on the insert tab and click pivot table used to be a little bit more of a complex process but now there's just one step it's automatically selected our table that's the value of having an empty column on the side and an empty row at the bottom and I'm going to put it into the existing worksheet right here so once again keep the column next to the data empty and go one further across so once I click OK it gives us this little wizard so here is the uh, schematic of the pivot table nothing's happening yet because we haven't done anything but it's going to slowly complete itself as we make our choices from this pivot table wizard. What I want to do is I want to choose what I want my pivot table to look like. So I am going to um, choose which values I want to have be the data, which values I want to be in the rows and columns and so on. So what I'm going to choose firstly is I'm going to choose uh, position. Because position is a text field, midfield, striker, back, screen, etc., it automatically assumes that it is a row label. Next, I'm going to pick name. Again, because it is a text field, it automatically goes into the row labels. I'm going to choose player impact score. That automatically goes into values because it's a number and it's assuming that that's what you want to work with and what uh, what I can do is, is use this particular um, wizard to manipulate where I put things and how I make it look so what I really want to look at is how things how players compare against different opponents so if I right click on this value it says a number of options but one of them that I'm interested in is move to column labels I could also drag it there but right clicking is a, a nice clean way to do it and what I'm going to do is drag the pivot table up into the report filter all right I'm just going to get rid of that for now and what we've got here is the sum of all the impact scores for each player against each country and a grand total. Now the sum's not really what I want. What I want to do is right click anywhere inside the little data part of the table and click on value field settings. What I want is average and I want to have a number format with two decimal places. That looks much tidier, much cleaner. Great. Now, you'll note that when we were organizing the table, I made the decision to put the position up in the top box of the filter. If I just click inside the table, what I can do bring that field list back up and we can see here is that position is in the report filter box 
that means that's kind of the granddaddy filter that allows me to choose a whole range of uh, um, things so what I'm going to do is uncheck all and just choose back and now what it's going to show me is just the scores for the players who are in that position against these opponents what I want to do is further manipulate it turn that off and just choose a random selection of countries and suddenly there we go we've got the players we've got the countries that we had selected and we've got a grand total average so we can see at the top here Amelia plays quite well against Belgium Indonesia and Norway but not so well against Chile and so on so what we're looking at down the grand total is the overall average for this player against these four nations and here is the individual breakdown if I want to change position I can choose midfield and I get the midfield players so pretty easy really and a really cool way to manipulate and play with your data one more thing I want to have a look at or two more things really one of them is, is a 30 second job and that is uh, formatting of the table in the pivot table sub menu uh, anytime you click inside the pivot table this particular menu will become available if you're outside it you won't see it so uh, click inside go to design and there's a whole bunch of um, designs you can open this wizard and you'll see uh, more than you could ever hope for in terms of formatting uh, and the second thing I wanted to have a look at is something that is a wonderful addition in 2010 and it is called a slicer so I'm going to click on the table once again I'm going to go up to options and what I want to do is insert a slicer so I click on this here are all the fields that I have available at my disposal I want a slicer based upon position and so what this does is it allows me rather than playing with that drop down box I can make those positional changes and selections based upon my slicer so it's kind of like a really cool interactive dashboard now and if I add another slicer which I can do if I would like based upon opponent I'll just manipulate this one a little bit you can see because I've got the slicer selected its own little sub menu appears and I can choose that I want to have the options in three columns I think and that way I can just resize it to make it a little bit easier to look at so at the moment these are the four countries I've got selected if I hold down the control key I can add additional selections to the mix so similarly here on the position one I can hold down midfield and striker and these opponents and the information demonstrates uh, my selection so there you go very very quick pivot table demonstration hopefully what it's done is not really educate you but whetted your appetite uh, strongly suggest you go and look at more pivot table tutorials and see if you can muck around some of your own data and apply pivot tables to your performance analysis tasks Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.